Iron Wrath, Stronghold of Hoss Forest. Yeah, the legs hurting, eh? It's Garrett. It's Garrett. Garrett. Castellan, tell him his nephew survived. Oh, I need to tell my uncle. Garrett. I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall quickly. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They mm -hmm. killed my family. And for what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable, unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Thank you for everything you could do. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Come on, call it take it. No doubt the take white his pants off. It was murder. It was your or, family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the white elves just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Okay. Why won't you take off your trousers? <sighs> this is gonna hurt. Okay. But well, that, that's old school. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Oh, I didn't hurt enough this already. Me, will you? What am I holding? I can't see it. From your can't see it. Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. <laughs> Normal. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Just like having a car accident and the next day your leg is all fixed. Woo! I'm gonna look at you. I'm gonna look at you. That sword is way too big. No, only look. Moving. I no, need to no, see no, 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 no. Okay. Medical supplies. Ooh, buckets. Hmm. Come on, it's it's appetizing if you're in the jungle. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. I guess. Yeah. Bandages. Okay, we need to do it ourselves. This might help. Okay. That might help. Look at the Lord's chair. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, I'm your mistaken. No. You do seem able to put weight on it. Oh. 
Oh. Majestic. Just fascinating. Fascinating. The Ironwood Grove. Okay. We we don't we don't get to see whatever he is looking at. Uh 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 get Okay. Let's take a look at the tapestry. Mirror. Mirror. Or Still mirror. King's Landing, I suppose. Although I wonder if they'll bring her home. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Well, you are right now. Ryan. Never easy being a fourth born son. Lord Ooh. Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor not, the Good. Not not even easy to be a uh, first son. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Oh, Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay. Uh, no, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. Okay. Uh, we won't go over there. Is there something over here we can look at? No. Well, talk to you later. First, I'm uh, going to take a look at the rest of our... Oh, I paused it. Can't go over here. Okay, we're going to talk. We'll have a talk. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Um. Who is the new lord of House Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. Why not me? At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Yeah. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. That's reasonable. The White Hills want Forester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Okay. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but. Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is I it true? I feel real sorry Is for your you. family... Yeah, it's true. I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Bats. Garrett was just like telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. 
You saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He said he loved you. Said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester sword. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Who is this dick? I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Sure. Duncan. This was our land. Duncan. They were our people. <laughs> your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forester land. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. <laughs> Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they we killed. We need to be smart. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Oh. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> so that's uncle. It will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. I've done nothing wrong! Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. But I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered <laughs> enough. Let them go. Let them come. Let them come. I don't care. <laughs> They'd kill you and not think twice about Let it. Let come. It's not I safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, my place is here. Who will defend the house? You said we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. You... I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. Still not right. No, it's not. But it's what's best. My uncle just got the right to go insane. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Well, crap. No swords. Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. 
And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you want to stay, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. Well then, don't get killed. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. Ooh. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. First, go to but the wall. don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Ranger. What kind of ranger? Ranger of power? <gasps> Do I get to wear a fancy suit? Iron and a way to bright ice. color? Iron from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with, honor. Serve with honor. I know you will. What do you want to do? Thank you. Talia. Be safe. Sure. And there he goes. Walking out of the gates from iron to ice. Ethan, 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 that's a lot. I couldn't find him. Could you? No. I believe not. He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me! Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. <laughs> I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't Are want her sure? to die either. Maester Ortengrin said... He got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. You He'll be smart. fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? 
Well, Sir Roiland, for one, he says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> and he Bam. calls you a milksop. Sir Roiland forgets himself. I'll have After him all, punished. You are the lord of the house now. I'll have him punished for saying that. What does milksop mean? <laughs> I don't know. But I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword. Like... like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. <laughs> then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Um, I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I don't want to get angry, but I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. <laughs> a proper oh, lord. Don't fool around. You have to understand. Being lord is a great responsibility. I can't just fool around. That's Thank fine. you for that, Roderick. Roderick. Thank you. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's gone mm. demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. I might remind you, Sir Royland, I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, not you. Of course, my lord. <laughs> it's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. Fine. Let's be done with it. Let's just walk the other way. <laughs> they showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something <laughs> rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my Lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule over. Good morning. <laughs> Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. You're not I've been this. waiting for this day all my life. 
The foresters finally get their due. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. <laughs> and no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord? You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? <laughs> you want kill. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attack for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the Lord mm. of this house. <laughs> we lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men answer murdered his entire family. You lost answer pig question. farmers, With not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roos Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable <laughs> men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This? is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. <laughs> that lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed well, one of his own. You want to but the new final Lord save. Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. We're in the right, Lord Whitehill. Remember that. He will. <laughs> Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. It's important.